Hey everybody, it's Thomas and Krista with Throne Builders. Hi everybody! And we have the prophetic word for the week of July 1st and the month of July. Oh, by the way, happy 4th oh, of July! Well, happy 4th of July Early. to you too! Hello. And if I had a gun, I'd shoot it in the sky! But yeah, then, we could go see fireworks though. Oh. Oh, come on. Fireworks in Florida <laughs> is like crawling into the depths of hell itself. <laughs> and watching the sparks come off of the coals. I remember this from my wow, childhood. Wow, really? Oh man, wow. I remember going to one fireworks display. I don't remember display. that. I had a great Let childhood me tell my story. with fireworks. I remember going to one fireworks display at a lake in Orlando. Mm -hmm. I think it was Lake Orlando is what it was called. It had to have been four billion degrees. <laughs> and the fireworks were just reminders that it was hot. I <laughs> nice. was not pleased. So Okay, let's I get back on track, what, shall we? Oh, I thought we were talking about fireworks. Well, we were, but they're waiting. For us to talk about stuff. Oh, Hi, stuff again. We're here again. Awesome. Sauce. <laughs> prophetic word. So this week, as we have been praying about and meditating on the word that we wanted to release to the body of Christ, what God gives to us, because what we release to you is what God gives to us for us, and then has us release it to other people, because many of you are walking in partnership with us, waiting for these things and, and tuning in. God has been speaking to us throughout the week, and I've got a message, and Chris has a message, and then we're going to kind of tie things together, but God really spoke spoke to me and said, it's time for you to bear up under the burden. Uh, there are some of you that, and some of us that have just been struggling, the thing, uh, we've been kind of letting things lay to the side, afraid to pick things up, afraid to press forward, afraid to deal with uh, that difficult confrontational situation that maybe you haven't been wanting to, to uh, approach. It's yeah. time to bear up under the burden. It's time to go ahead and take the steps. And I know some of you are so weary from trying to go forward and the constant delays and the yeah. constant disappointments, but sometimes the only way you get to where you want to get to is by picking up the burden and going after it again. Yeah. I love how in the Proverbs it says a just man falls seven times and rises up again. In other words, you no matter how many times you fall, you've got to get back up one more time. No yeah. matter how many times the burden seems to crush you, get back up, bear up under that burden, push back against the resistance, and you right. will develop the spiritual and emotional fortitude to push through and experience what you've been looking for, what is yours to rightfully claim. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, it's interesting because um, yeah. I really felt like the Father wanted me to share something really important with you for the month of July. And the theme of July, I believe, is the theme of honor. You know, the Lord's been talking to our family a lot about honor. Right. And there's been many places in our lives that he's highlighted. And he said, hey, you weren't the most honorable there. Why don't you make some changes? That's right. And because we want to honor the Lord, but we also want our lives to be right. And we want to go forward and help a lot of people. Um, you know, this thing's bigger than us, right? That's so right. we want to be honorable people. That's right. And so do you out there. And so let me just share with you real quick what he showed me. It's it's actually honor affects every part of your life. If That's you right. think about it, it affects your finances. So sometimes we don't pay bills on time or we don't give to the people God tells us to give to. Uh, these are just some examples. That's not being honorable with our money. Sometimes we waste money, you know, and there's nothing wrong with splurging and having a good time, but there is a culture of honor that we are trying to create in our lives. At least we should be. Right. And so we need to be honorable with our finances. What about our time? Are we being honorable with our time? What does that really mean? Well, to us, it means sticking to a somewhat of a schedule and getting our work done, whatever work it is that you're supposed to be doing, getting that done uh, because then you're honoring your time, okay? What about relationships? Oh, Having snap. honor in your relationships. Oh, That's a hard one, right? Especially if you have a spouse that uh, it fights against you or you don't have the unity in your family you want or, you know, in the marriage you want. That can be really difficult. But, you know, you alone can make some good choices. That's you right. alone can be the person to stand up and say, you know what? Even if I'm not getting treated the best or don't, I don't think that person loves me like they should, I am still going to be an honorable person. That's right. Because that will be blessed. That's right. And so what's, what's some other areas? What, what a great time. I was just thinking about to talk about honor. Uh, given that July 4th, Independence Day, is, yeah. is in the first week of July, of course, July 4th, a wonderful day of celebrating as yeah. Americans. And uh, Independence Day, to me, is a day for honor. Yeah. Uh, our forefathers recognized that the king and parliament uh, were, were basically treating British citizens in the colonies mm. like slaves. 
And though we were British citizens, and though we had all the rights that the crown entrusted to the citizens of the crown, we were being treated subserviently, dishonor. They were taxing us in an unjust way. They were uh, passing laws that were unjust. They were uh, all kinds of different ways that the, their uh, army was uh, wreaking havoc and causing damage here in the colonies. Yeah. And our forefathers said, no, wait a minute. There is a culture of honor mm -hmm. in England that is supposed to be a part of our culture here. Yeah. And so they tried repeatedly to bring peace uh, by, by redressing their grievances to the crown. They were refused. And then so finally they took up arms and decided to fight. Honor is a culture of respect and it's sourced out of love. Uh, it Amen. is a concept of, um, in fact, our forefathers were frustrated because the king and parliament were disregarding law. Yeah. And they were creating new laws for the colonials. There's right. only one law in the kingdom of heaven. You can ditch the Ten Commandments. You can ditch all the other rules, all the other laws. If that bothers you, I'm sorry, but you are not under the law. Jesus took you into the grave and raised you up to newness of life, according to Romans chapter 7, the first three verses. Yeah. The law has absolutely no bearing for you or anyone else in any way, shape, or form. But there is one law, Amen. and that is the law of love. Yes. And love honors, respects, magnifies, right. lifts up others. And so honor is something very wonderful for us to think about. And mm -hmm. uh, in when we talk about bearing up under the burden, one of the reasons so many of us have suffered so needlessly for so long and we live this life of being dishonored by others yeah. is because there are ways, if we'll look back in our life, yeah. that we created an atmosphere so of true. dishonor by the way we spoke to right. people, why we spoke right. of the ways that we handled people, handled right. money, time, like Krista was saying. Yeah. Uh, but, but when you really begin to think about honor in a way of you know, honoring yourself, do you respect yourself? Do you love yourself? Uh, right. When we really begin to think about honor and think yeah. about how we want to turn things around for us, yeah. you have to bear up under the burden and learn how to create a culture of honor in your life. And it does require a humbling of oneself. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's easy, you know. You know, when we are um, supposed to be living a life of honor, you know, it's going to require sometimes for us to swallow our pride and say, you know what, I blew it. I messed up. I didn't treat that person right. I probably should have done it another way. And here's how you know if you're operating out of love. You're willing to change those things. You're willing to own up to your mistakes and you say, you know what, I'm not going to live this way anymore. And you know, when you make those changes and that kind of, you get in the mode of fighting for yourself. When I say fighting for yourself, I mean believing in yourself like God does. When you get into this position, this is when everything starts to snap into place. Right. You start, your life starts to flow the way you want it to, and you start getting more favor and blessings. It's not, it's not like God is keeping those things from us. They're already there. Everything right. is right in front of us, but we have to cultivate an atmosphere of honor in order to live it. That's right. Right? It's like having a cluttered room and trying to find yeah. something, uh, you know, trying to move, like, you, you know, you go into a cluttered room, you move stuff over here, trying to find something there, and then yeah. you don't, and you move everything back over here. Mm -hmm. Instead, yeah. honor clears the air. It declutters mm -hmm. things. Yeah. And as you begin to honor, magnify other people, love other people, uh, mm -hmm. make all your decisions based on love and concern for others, right. you will create an atmosphere of honor and you will find those things that are already in your possession because God has not withheld any good thing from us, right? So sometimes you'll feel like, why isn't my life flowing in this way? Like what happened to the, the you know, experiences I used to experience that were like, seemed to really, my life is so favored and blessed. And some of you are uh, maybe asking yourself this question right now. Look back, look how you handled things. Look what you did. Ask the Lord to show you because I, I know he's going to show you. And once you can see that, Turn it around, fix it, right. start to walk in the righteous way that we're supposed to walk, right? right. This for all, we're preaching to ourselves too, we're by the way. Preaching the word, right? Up in you here. know, um, and you will see a shift, you know, because how you steward anything in your life is what you're going to reap back. That's right. Right? Uh, you know, you reap what you sow, right? Yes. My mom mm -hmm. used to say when I was growing up, what goes around comes around. It's so true. So what you put out, like a yo-yo, comes back to you. Right. And it's very, very important for us to understand that. So in the month of July, we want to encourage you to bear up under the burden, yep. fight back, press back to get into the place where you want to be, yep. and and take the time to examine. You know, some of you should sit alone for a little while with a notepad and a pencil and say, God, what are some ways I've dishonored people? Yeah. What are some ways I've dishonored you? You might be you? surprised what it shows to you. And as much as possible, yep. try to make 
make things right with people if you can. Try to right. make things right. And, you know, if God gave you direction and you didn't follow, try to maybe get back on path if it's the season for it. Right. And, uh, you know, seek these things out and find out where you've dishonored people, where you've dishonored yourself, yeah. where you've allowed yourself to be dishonored. Mm -hmm. And allow God to teach you how to put things back in place so that you can have that peace. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people really struggle with doing things like this on their own. Throne Builders is here for you. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we love you and we want to help you. We have had to overcome so much. Yep, in we every are, area. We are still overcoming so much, but <laughs> right. we have come so far from where we were. And God has placed an anointing on our lives yeah. to help you. So if you're struggling, you're like, man, my life is filled with dishonor. You're, you're having issues in different areas. Go to thronebuilders.org, schedule a phone call. Let's spend some time together talking, yeah. uh, and uh, let's see if we can get things back on track in your life and let the blessing really uh, start to expand and flow for you, okay? Yeah, we look forward to hearing from you guys. So, we really love our YouTube channel, our YouTube family, should I yep, say. Our channel. YouTube channel family, I yeah, think, is what right. you meant to say. <laughs> so God bless you all. You have a great week, and we will meet you next Sunday. Amen.